Hi besties, I'm Vivian Tu, also known as your rich BFF and your favorite Wall Street girly, and here are seven steps to be rich AF. The besties ask me all the time, how do I be good with money? How do I get rich AF? And my answer is pretty simple. All you have to do is strip. STRIP is an acronym and an easy to follow step-by-step -step on how to be really smart with your money. Step one, S, savings. What I always say is the very first thing to do is to save three to six months of your living expenses in a high yield savings account. Why is this important? Because without an emergency fund, bad things can happen if your roof caves in or the wheel falls off your car or you happen to break your arm skiing. Things happen. You wanna make sure you have money to cover those last minute expenses that you don't plan for, otherwise it could put you in an even worse financial situation. And the reason we use a high yield savings account is to make sure we are earning as much interest on our money as possible. Step two, T. T stands for total debt. This is important because we have to think about debt as a holistic picture. My favorite thing to do is to rank your debt from highest to lowest interest rate and pay it down in that order. Essentially what you'll do is make the minimum payment across all of your debt and then with any additional funds that you wanna to put towards debt pay down, put it towards the debt with the highest interest rate. Why are we doing this? Because when you tackle your debt in this formation, not only are you paying your debt down in the fastest timeline possible, you are paying the least in interest. Step three, R. R stands for retirement because it's not enough to have a good time today, but you want today you to take care of future you. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to plan for retirement. I highly recommend tapping into tax advantaged accounts like your 401k through your employer or a Roth IRA, which you can get as an individual. These are really great ways to not only save on taxes, but invest for the future. And that is a perfect segue into step number four, I invest. A major mistake that people make is putting their cash in those investment accounts and then just letting it sit in cash. That cash is not going to grow. You actually have to buy stuff. And by stuff, I mean investments. So a couple of my recommended are index funds that track the S&P 500 or the total stock market. You can also consider mutual funds like a target date retirement fund. People get confused about this one, but all you have to do is calculate the year where you personally turn 60 and then see which of the target date retirement funds that is most closely related to the year that you turn 60. Once you buy that, it'll actually change over time as you get older to become a good fit for you at a specific age and those needed investments. And if all of that still sounds too complicated, don't worry, there's still something you can do. Just choose a brokerage that has a robo-advisor. Essentially what you'll do is take a quick quiz about your money goals, your retirement age, how much you make, where you live, and then they'll build a diversified portfolio for you so it's super easy and that way you get to be a lazy investor. And we've talked a lot now about being smart with your existing money, but step five is to actually increase your income. I'm sure you've heard a trope about how millennials can't afford homes because we love avocado toast and getting a latte in the morning. Sure, scrimping and saving is important, but it's a lot easier to make $5,000 more each year through asking for a raise than it is to cut out $5,000 worth of discretionary expenses. Discretionary expenses can be things that you really enjoy, like your Netflix subscription or your gym membership, or just going and grabbing dinner with friends on a Friday. I want to make sure that you are still enjoying your life while being financially responsible. So it's so important to prioritize income. I always tell the besties, ask for a 10 to 15% raise every single year. Am I saying you're gonna get it? Not always, but it's really important to be asking because if you don't ask, you don't get. And by doing so, you are making sure that your manager understands what you want, how you wanna be compensated, and your expectations for your career goals. About two and a half hours worth of work can mean you can get a five, 10, $15,000 raise or more, and that is so much easier to do than just cut out everything that makes you smile on the day to day. And step number six, P, plan. You do not get to ride off into the sunset on your happily ever after if you don't have a plan. 
and it doesn't need to look like everybody else's. For some folks, the happily ever after means retiring at 30 and living in an Airstream. For other people, it's retiring at 60 and making sure that they can help their kids with expenses and have a vacation home and always make sure they can take care of their golden retriever named Fido. Whatever your happily ever after is, make sure you are able to visualize how much that will cost in a year and how much money you would need to have saved and invested to be able to back into that via interest or capital gains so that you can support the lifestyle you want to live. And I know you're probably thinking, Vivian, we just went through strip, but that was only six steps. Well, don't worry. Step seven is this. We are looking for collaboration, not competition. Don't consider other people's success your downfall. In my early 20s, I felt that somebody else's win was my loss, that there wasn't enough to go around and that if someone else got the promotion, I was never going to get one. Or if someone else had this designer bag that I couldn't afford it. And it made me feel really small and very insecure. And I think a lot of the conversations and taboo around money stem from that feeling of not being good enough. I'm here to tell you that you are. You deserve to be rich AF, you deserve richness in your life, and it's going to be so much easier to do if all of the people around you are supporting each other versus tearing each other down. Yes, I know this might sound a little soft, but at the end of the day, you're not trying to go fast, you're trying to go far, and it is always easy to go far in your life with friends by your side. Thanks so much for watching my seven steps to getting rich AF. And if you want more tips on getting rich AF and being smarter with your money, check out my book, Rich AF, The Winning Money Mindset That'll Change Your Life. I'm Vivian Tu, also known as Your Rich BFF and your favorite Wall Street girly, and this is Seven Things.